Hello, my name is Teacher Bell and welcome to another tips review and tutorial. So for today, I'm going to give you a very short tip on how you can customize your cursor so that it's easier for your students to recognize which part of your screen are you highlighting or are you talking about. So this is an example of my cursor. Okay, the easiest way to customize a cursor. Now below are some examples of the cursors that you can use once you install this extension. So the first thing you need to do is to install custom cursor for Chrome. And I will drop the link of that extension below the description. So check it out. Now once you click on that link, it will bring you to this page where you can install the extension. So Click on the blue bar here that says Add to Chrome and it will pop up here on your browser. Now, if it doesn't pop up, click on the puzzle piece and pin the custom cursor for Chrome extension. So, just click on the pin. Okay. Now, if you're ready to customize your cursor, we can click on that icon. And you should be able to see some examples of the cursors that you can use. So here are a few collections of the cursors. Now, all cursors come in pair. So the first image will show when you hover around your presentation. Now, the second image is what appears if you, if the image or the text that you are highlighting is clickable or is linked. So, for example, look at that. And when I move it to a clickable image or text, it changes. Okay, so they all come in pair. Now, if you want it more customized, you can upload your own cursor using this button here, Upload Cursor. However, the recommendation size of the image you can upload is 128 by 128 pixels. So these are some of the tips you can use. When you upload your own design, you have to resize your image. And I usually just resize it in the Paint app. And if I want the background removed, I removed it in www.removed.bg. I have also a tutorial on that one. You can check that out. And then upload it in Custom Cursor Extension. So let's try to upload one. Let's say you want to upload your avatar. So if you have a Bitmoji app, you can click on that. I have another tutorial on this as well, how to upload your Bitmoji app. So click on whatever Bitmoji you want. Right click it. Save as image. When it's done, you open it. Okay, right click again and open it using paint. So open with paint. Okay, and just click on resize, change it to pixel, and change it to 128 by 128, and then save. Save. You can now save it in your computer so we can upload it in our custom cursor. So save us. Um, it's either PNG or JPEG. It doesn't matter because when you save an image from Paint, it usually has a background. So just save it using JPEG. And, and then you go back to the Cursor app. Click on it. Upload Cursor. And click on the plus sign. And you should be able to upload your image and that will be used as your cursor now let's try that one once you upload it it will pop up in your collection so it will pop up here on the first part of your cursor collection my collection now if you click on it since i saved this with a background there is a white background around it okay now if you want to remove that background you can go to Remove that BG and you can download that image and upload it and it will be removed. 
Okay, so I hope this helps. And if you have questions, you can always comment down below and I would be happy to answer whatever questions you have. Okay, that's it for today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.